The ribbon in Microsoft Office 2010 replaces the customary menu system found in earlier versions of Microsoft applications. It is designed and organized to guide the user to the commands needed for completing a task, and it can be minimized to provide a larger active workspace. There are several ways to minimize the ribbon. New to Office 2010 is the Minimize the Ribbon command, which is found in the top right corner of the window next to the Microsoft Office Help button. When selected, this will minimize or hide the ribbon, displaying only the tabs, which still gives you access to all of the commands, but at the same time provides a larger active workspace for whatever you're working on. To maximize or display the ribbon, click on the command again. This new command is in addition to the other methods for minimizing the ribbon introduced in Office 2007. You can also minimize the ribbon by using the tabs found at the top of the ribbon. The Active tab currently is Home. Double-clicking the Active tab will minimize the ribbon. In order to restore the ribbon, double-click the Active tab again. Another method to minimize the ribbon is using the right mouse button. By right-clicking on any part of the ribbon, you'll see the option to minimize the ribbon. Selecting this will minimize it. Right-clicking on the ribbon again and selecting Minimize the Ribbon, which is a toggle switch, will restore the ribbon to its previous position. Another method to minimize the ribbon uses the keyboard shortcut. Using the Control key and the F1 key in combination will minimize the ribbon. Using the same combination, Control F1 again will restore the ribbon to its previous position. When the ribbon is minimized, you still have all the options and commands available for the application that you are working with. Selecting any of the tabs on the ribbon displays the options available. Once you have selected an option and you've moved back to the document, the ribbon minimizes, leaving a larger active workspace.